in terms of uh, well do me I do you rub my back and I rub yours the north has rubbed more backs than his back being rubbed Obasanjo couldn't get 10,000 votes in front of his house I sat with him when he declared and I told the journalists that uh, spoke to him rudely most of the time I said he will be president in Nigeria by the votes of Northern Nigeria, and he did. Even there, well, we got paid back somehow. Somehow. It wasn't, it wasn't appreciated as such. That was Professor Ango Abdullahi. He said, we got paid back somehow, somehow, that their effort wasn't appreciated as much. But why would Obasanjo decide to bite the fingers that fed him? Welcome to In-Depth Analysis. I'm not here to waste your time, so let's dive in into the matter. But first of all, let me remind you guys, we'll be having a balanced view. A view from the north and another view from the south. Let's start with the northern view. Under Obasanjo. He destroyed the entire economy of the North. Today, nobody can convince any Northerner. The consolidation of the banks, which saw the total extinction of all commercial banks of Northern origin, because we could not raise the money, because we don't have those type of money to sustain a bank of 25 billion naira then, was done deliberately by Obasanjo to bring the North East on knees. Documented history has shown that after destroying the life wire of the bank of the North, he went ahead to retire promising young officers of Northern origin, Muslims and Christians, simply because we were paying for a bunch of crime against an opposite. Not only that, even in the civil service, people of northern origin were being exited, again sharing a bunch of, a, a, a bunch of crime. The only crime of the north is that an abacha has given a devastating blow to an opposing Jew over a true or a phantom or alleged coup. Obasan is fully aware that uh, under the military dispensation, under the military uh, rules, if you are suspected to partake or participate or finance or support or even become aware of an existing coup, you remain guilty. That is the rule of the military. It's not the northerners rule. It is the military rule. And therefore, he should go and settle his case with Abacha on Judgment Day. Wow. That was the perspective from the north. Now let's get a, a, a southern view. Stay tuned. But with some people say Obasanjo has been able, within the eight years he was in government, to drastically reduce the power of the north. And I think many top northerners today don't want to forgive him because he drew the carpet. And as some people say, it will take the north another 25 years to undo the damage Obasanjo has done to the north. But in doing so, he was trying to balance the power in Nigeria. He was able to restructure the army. He was able to restructure many of the parastates, and even though he decided to scrap many of the parastators, which were the backbone for the northerners. Many of these parastators were areas where the north, you know, believed they make... Let, let, let me give you a joke. Three Nigerians, a Yoruba man, an Igbo man, and a Hausa man, were involved in an accident. And they died. Immediately they died. Angel Gabriel appeared to them. And, Look, although you are dead, I can resurrect you if you pay me five million pounds. Oh, the Igbo man said, five million pounds? No problem, I'll pay it. He quickly paid it. And he just found himself standing up from the accident spot. The angel went to the Yoruba man. The Yoruba man said, about five million is too plenty now. Can't you take three million 
I'll pay you three million or even okay, four million. The India says no, it's fine. He said, okay, if that is the condition, I'll pay. The Yoruba man stood up. The angel went to the Hausa man and said, look. The Hausa man said, Bawa Allah, just send the bill to the federal government of Nigeria. You see, the joke there is that the northerners depend solely on the federal government of Nigeria, which was true to an extent some years back. And that was what Obasanjo has come to do, to draw that carpet and make sure that, you know, no one region, you know, has the hold on the Federation. Yeah, so listening to both views, you can see they, they were both making sense. But I would like to get your, your comment at the comment section to see which one we should ride with. Should we ride with the southern view or the northern view? Let me get your comment below. Thanks for watching.